But on the topic of unprocessed grief, on the topic of all the hurt, on the topic of the disregard that not wearing a mask and not abiding by the couple things we could do, staying a safe distance apart, not gathering in people's homes, wearing our masks, allowing ourselves to acknowledge the loss and feel the pain of the loss seems like a good step in the right direction to getting the nation to do the right things. You're so right. You know, I'm thinking as I listened and watched, I'm thinking about my good friend Charles Upshur. He died yesterday mm-hmm. of COVID. Died yesterday. And, you know, the selfishness that has kind of suffocated the land was held at arm's length for a moment. We've needed a national ritual to mourn so that we can think about the mourning. And in for a moment, just, just, just listening to the words and the song and seeing the lights, President elect Joe Biden and Vice President Harris pulled the grief and regret out of the privacy of our hearts, if just for a moment, so that we all could share it. Cardinal Gregory put it powerfully, sorrow unites us, you know? We needed this ritual because the dead weren't settled. People didn't die right, Nicole. And coming out of my tradition, when folk don't die right, they haunt. So, you know, I'm thinking of Charlie, when he would slice that golf ball and cuss at the top of his lungs, or we would sit down and smoke cigars and talk about how bad we played and how, how good we would play the next round. And thinking about all of those folks who just for the moment, the nation shared their grief. Oh, what a first step, what a beautiful step. So I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm reminded of the psalmist, you know, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Um, maybe the death will speak to us now. Maybe they can rest now. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.